with a prolonged standing ovation. And that sort of reception has become typical of his performances throughout the world. The film you're about to see is, and I choose my words carefully, idiosyncratic. That is, the camera work and the structure of the story may surprise you. What it does achieve in great measure is an absorbing picture of a young genius at work, at play, at home, and in concert. Dimitri Skouros. Not very much. Why? Because there are no there are no more why I have to like more.
s'il voulait commencer à jouer du piano. Dimitri, j'ai dit oui, maman. Quelle est la première chose qu'il a fait au piano Il y a quelque chose de magnifique ici. J'ai senti quelque chose comme, comme l'électricité qui est dans, dans moi. Il a dit comme ça. You won't play any piano, you won't listen to any music. That was uh, when he was really agitated and uh, crying, actually. He, he just stopped him. years old, he has first really public performance. And uh, he played the full recital two hours, include two of his compositions, his own composition. It was, you know, something special. position, I mean, uh, the housewife, the mother of the family, and Dimitri's secretary, and, uh, you know, all this difficult. It's a difficult boy. 
Uh, he was from the beginning. Uh, he's not a bad boy, of course, but he's a boy in a way. For me, he's the most beautiful voice ever. The greatest actress, uh, the, one of the greatest musicians also, because she feels what she does and she knows exactly what to do in every note and she's the only, I think, for me, true singer that she's always true and right to the spirit and the composer. What do I have to do? What you wish. First time in Kalas, but generally I love opera because it has a lot of communication to do with the piano. Because uh, to be a great pianist, you have to love music. And first, the first thing about music for me is voice. Well, of course, I have to sing, especially in Chopin or Schumann or all these kind of things, because the the very much virtuoso things they don't give you the the time to express your feelings and all this, but when it's something slower or very musical, I'm not a must thing, I like to sing inside me. We spend the normal life, nothing special. We keep him close of other children. In the normal school, he go in every morning by feet, nothing quite special. Different of the others. He would like play Fergus Mine of course concerto. He li like very much this composition. I leave it void, of course, because that's 13 years old to play uh in the first concerto, that's really something very exceptional. I ask him maybe something another concerto. No, I would like Fergus Rachmaninov. Yes, I accept. I accept. And uh, in rehearsal he played for me and I consider that's what my friend tell me that's a miracle. A that's miracle? A miracle, yes. That's only one word, that miracle. No, what do you mean when you say a miracle technique? Alone? No, you know, that's, that's all. That's, that's from God. Everything's from God. Um, you know, he has very big, 13 years old, very big hand. He has no difficulties for me. That's also for 13 years old, very, very rare. He has every all possibility technical possibility but that's not all he is the real musicians that's miracle in 13 years he have enormous big repertoire he play practically all piano repertoire with orchestra he know music enormously and i think that's if you ask me that's uh, he play piano 13 years old, if he have 50 years old, or 70 years old, even 90 years old, <laughs> that's why I must tell you, that's great. And
C'est un lion déguisé doublé d'un enfant. Voilà ce que Dimitri c'est pour moi quand il s'assoit au piano. Vous pouvez voir la crinière quand il joue du lion parce qu'il il, il, l'emploie beaucoup. Il mémorise toutes ces notes. Et alors, il m'a répondu un jour, c'est très simple. Je ne le sais pas, mais je le fais très vite. En réalité, son explication ne me suffit pas. Je crois que lui-même, il ne sait pas. Et ça, c'est le charme. C'est un mystère pour lui-même. C'est ce qu'il y a de très beau chez Dimitri. On le voit, on le sent, on l'admire et on ne s'explique pas. choses n'ont pas une explication immédiate. It's true, I don't practice uh, in the piano very much because when I'm taking something, I can immediately read it and then remember it because I have many facilities, both memory and technique, and then I'm working just with my mind. And not only that, I, I feel every time I don't have the piano with me and I just have the score with me that I have the keyboard in front of me. And that's why maybe I'm practicing all the time. That's why I don't need to practice so much in the piano. You realize that your hands move all the time. When they're moving, do you know what you're playing? Of course, I know exactly what I'm playing, and I know every note of what I'm doing without the keyboard in front of me. And you do this while you're talking to other people, too, or even while you're listening so to Carlos. I can, um, I can do that without even thinking. It just goes mechanically.
That's two seconds and there's more. I'm looking for opera recordings. Where can I find it? Opera. Opera. Yeah. Mm, for Maria Callas. Again with Callas, I have it. From, that's from Berlin. That is from Berlin, I'm sure. Because I have it. Yes. Of what? Carlos, uh, what year? Conducted by Rossinio. No, that's London in 58. No, no. Oh. That's in 58 in London. What conductor is that? Mexico. Mexico, 52. Yeah. Munyai. Munyai, ah, yeah. The father, Aida, <laughs>
Mrs. That I don't know. I I think so. <laughs> One of the greatest composers. I don't have to say why. There are all the people said before me, so I'm the last person to ask. the concert or do you like to finish the concert? No, I don't think I like neither. I like to play a concert. Are you tired when you play? Well, I'm always tired uh, when I'm working because everybody's tired uh, when he does his job, but I'm not as tired as if I work. I have to play the list now, and I don't want to be wet. Now you ask me what this is. Yes,
it's a trill. Before it was just an appoggiatura, so it's different. Before it was, now it's, so now it's. More, more, it's a trill. And start it forth and, and then piano. Dynamics and the values are not quite right. You have to do and you have to start piano. And then do that. Understand? Start more. And then do this for example. Here. Leave, leave the pedal, listen, and instead of you keep the notes. Some, a few seconds. You are necess it's necessary for you to keep it. You keep it. Instead of keeping it in the same chromatic tune, change your chromatic tune with a pedal and do. And then move. And then from the beginning. So can you do that again? your hands first. Not not there. Take move your hands first. Back and take the pedal gently back. When the sound all finished, then you start. Wow, it's 
Say, sir. I have to organize it, huh? What you play? I play the Vogue Stage Sonata. Looks like um, a production of an opera that plays here, a Japanese production of something in an opera. Because the trees are so beautiful, but um, probably all kinds of romantic music. I think Ravel goes more because it's more water. Uh, the VC is more impressionism, and um, I think probably, I don't know, Gaspar de Lanmi or Jedo or something like that.
Μα! Δεν θα κάνω τίποτα. Σε θέλω παρακάλεσαν όλοι. Δεν θα κάνω. Πρέπει να σεβαστώ τον φίλο. Δεν πρόκειται να κάνω. Θα χαθεί όλο το αριστούριο.
Dimitris Skouras is touring Australia, giving recitals and concerts with ABC orchestras. Now, he'll appear in most capital cities, starting in Perth on July the 4th with the West Australian Symphony Orchestra. The brilliant 17-year-old Greek pianist Dimitris Skouras 